Hold a friend of ours is smiling in Cleveland. Hugh Hewitt has been listening. Hugh, that counts as a full-throated endorsement uh, this week in Cleveland. It does. It also counts as a scoop for Jacob Soboroff. The full-throated endorsement came from Scott Walker, and that's what people hope to hear on the Team Trump tonight from Ted Cruz. But as Chuck Todd was talking to Mike Lee earlier, uh, there's this built in here. People are going to be watching the Ted Cruz speech very, very closely to see if he delivers the same kind of uh, emphatic vote for Donald Trump that Scott Walker did. Uh, Mike Lee included in there, I don't know if anyone listened to it, uh, Justice Jackson reference to leaving pistols lying around on tables. They're worried about the precedent of supporting someone outside of the mainstream of conservatism as Justice Jackson worried in the dissent in Korematsu. But Mike Lee, Ted Cruz, they got to look at Scott Walker and Nikki Haley and say to themselves, Either Trump wins or he loses. If he wins, we'd better have been with him if we want our political careers and our people to go forward. If he loses, which position do you want to be in? Having been a loyal member of the Republican Party or having been part of the splitters? You remember Life of Brian, Brian. He had to be part of the splitters. Uh, this is a very interesting moment for Ted Cruz tonight. I'll be watching it very closely. Well, I'll match your Jackson with a Stewart, and that is I know it when I see it. He was talking about pornography, but I think the people in the audience audience tonight are going to be looking for Ted Cruz uh, on sincerity points. And what do you think they're going to get, Hugh? Uh, I think Ted Cruz is going to endorse. Uh, I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. But I think he's going to endorse Donald Trump. And Ted Cruz doesn't do anything half-hearted. I think he has also created a lot of tension, a lot of tension on his speech, which is a very shrewd move by a very skilled politician who's very able. You don't get, you know, you don't get to be uh, before the Supreme Court a dozen times or nine times or whatever it was because you're lucky. Ted Cruz brings a lot to the game, and he's created some interest before Mike Pence. And so I like the way this uh, this night's unfolding. Walker amps it up. Laura Ingram gave a good speech. Uh, Walker amps up. We pay attention to Ted Cruz, and then hopefully Governor Pence, from the perspective of a Republican, comes out and knocks it out of the park. Uh, you know, a Mike Napoli home run for Indian fans. That's a radio veteran right there. Hugh Hewitt, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, his excitement building in.